Hi friends, this is Mohamed with you. This is MTF IT channel. Uh, today I will show you how to create a VM in Hyper-V hypervisor using the PowerShell script. First I will uh, open Hyper-V manager and I will create a virtual switch. Go here, write on virtual switch manager and create virtual switch and I give the name of the switch I give in the name for example X and I will connect my my virtual switch to the network interface in my case I will choose an Intel Ethernet connection and I click on apply and after ok in my case I had already created this switch and I named it external ok now to uh, create a VM in Hyper-V hypervisor using PowerShell. I will open a magnificent tool. This tool is PowerShell ISE. I go here and I write PowerShell. I find it here. PowerShell ISE. Right click and run as administrator. Yes. Okay. I don't need this part. And here to create a virtual machine uh, with a script in PowerShell. First of all, I will create variables. The first VM name. will receive the name of my virtual machine. I will, uh, for example, win serve one. Second variable, the second variable will receive the switch that I will use. In my case, it's external, this one. The third will receive the path to the ISO file. My file is in in this volume here. I will just right click and rename and I will copy all this. Copy and here. Okay. Well, the fourth is the path of the virtual disk of the machine and then I write dollar VHD. The fifth variable is the size of the virtual disk. For example, I give it 40 gigabyte. And now This variable will receive the amount of the RAM. For example, I give it 2 gigabyte. Okay, I think there is no problem so far. Now I will start creating the virtual machine for the name. I will call the variable that I have already created and which has the name of the machine new vm dash name dollar v name dash memory startup byte to dash generation to dash new VHD path and I give this path this path and after I add the this path the name dot vh dx and I close dash new new VHD size bytes 
40 gigabyte touchpad first I give this uh, this path VHT and at the end I will add the name of the machine here and after I close dash switch the switch name and I will give uh, the switch that I will have already created dollar switch now I will uh, add the DVD drive to the virtual machine for that I will first add a virtual SCSI controller and after I will attach the DVD drive for that and I write add VM SCSI controller dash VM okay. just add the SCSI controller now I will attach the VM DVD drive to this controller dash VM Name. the name and I add the name of uh, my machine dash controller number one dash controller location the row dash path and I will attach the ISO file dollar ISO file now I will mount the installation media for that dollar I will create a new variable dollar drive that will receive get vm dvd drive dash vm name dollar now I will configure virtual machine to boot from the dvd for that set vm firmware dash vm dollar first put device first put device dollar ok now I will start after vm connect vm connect dash dot exe now I can add command to better explain my script I can go here set vm name comma switch name comma and installation media path and here to explain this command reach new virtual machine here for example add dvd drive to fair Installation Media Path Great. Oh. Just Media. And here. configuration configuration of the VM virtual machine to boot to put 
input from dvt. Great. Now I will execute the script. Before running the script, don't forget to add the colon here and here because I forget them. Otherwise, the script will not work. I will execute the script. Starting name of machine. Okay. Time current currency format Belgium, French Belgium. Keyboard or input method next install now. Choose for example the Terra Center. I accept the license term. default configuration I stopped the video and I will resume after the end of the installation now I will enter the local administrator password Uh, here I will enter the password administrator that I just had created I click yes and here uh, my machine is ready 